yo, what is good, world? What y'all up to today, man? Hope everybody having a good Halloween, man, and getting that candy, but don't eat too much of it, man. This is that update on that YSL case, man. Your boy Thug, man. You know, he's uh taking that plea deal, man. They say he might be doing 25. You know, or he might have that for the probation, but the only thing is everybody keeps saying that he's getting out. And he's gonna be free today. That's a that's what everybody keep posting, man. They just clout chasing, man. You know, but honestly, he can really honestly get anything. You know, they said one dude that he had, they tried to get to testify. He ain't testify. This mother had to do a lot of time for not testifying. So that's just to let you know how deep this is, man. If you have any, you know, situations or any placement within that situation, and you don't testify when it's time to, they can lock you up for that. Not testifying. You saying, hey, man, I ain't trying to tell. I ain't trying to talk. I don't know nothing about nothing. Hey, man, I don't even know how my name came up. Okay, well, they're going to have your name in a room that you're going to be sitting in that's small that you can't even do a push-ups in. You know, um, I feel for Thug, man. I hope he can get out of this one, man. And, uh, you know, the world's going to be turned up, man. He get a chance to get out, man, be a free man. You know, they said they're going to get him some time served, too, as well. But, you know, that's like a total of 40 years, man. So, you know, even if he had to do 25 or, you know, he had to do 25 on probation, man, that the probation would be the best bet. But hopefully he would get a chance to do that and not have to do 25 years or however many years they're going to throw at him, man. They, they, you know, it's not for certain on exactly the number count. Like they didn't just come out and just say, OK, this is what you get. You'll see in the video, man, but, you know, I wanted to give y'all that update on that, man. You know, prayers to his family, his friends, his fans, everybody that's rocking with him. I mean, I rock with him, too, man. You know, that's the guy right there, you know what I mean? He holding it down in the ATL, you know. But, um, yeah, man, this is this is a sad situation, man, that he going through this, man. And it's like as soon as dirt get in, you know, that's when his trial picked right back up. You know, well, it's been going, but it's, it's starting, to, starting to be a lot more in the headlines, man. You know, um, yeah, man, uh, it's it's easy to do the crime, man. But at times, man, it's hard to get out of it, man. When you're trying to get out of a situation, it's hard to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like my grandma, my auntie, my dad, everybody always says it's easy to get in trouble, but it's hard to get out. You know, it's easy to do something, man. Something, something so quick that it gets you so much time real quick you know so you know all i can do is just you know tell everybody you know let's let's support him man the best way we can and you know he get through this man and uh moving forward you know what i mean he he gonna do better he gonna run it up i already know he get out of this he gonna run it up man the streets is over boy you already know that dude gonna live in that booth man he ain't playing i already know i know he got so much unreleased music as it is anyway but he get a chance to get out, man, be a free man. This dude is about to go ham. You know what I mean? So y'all check this out, man. Let me know what y'all think on this, man. Hit them comments, man. Let's talk about this, man. Hit that subscribe button and like button, man. You already know what I'm about to say. I appreciate all y'all love and support as always, man. You know, I got to put that in there, man, because I do. Without y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's not me. It's no me, you know what I mean? And we're going to be going on lives and stuff, man. We're going to be turning up, man, kicking it up some notches, man. So, you know. Y'all stay tuned for that, man, and uh, we're going we're gonna to rock it out. Check this out, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. I'm going to talk to y'all soon, man. Stay safe, stay warm, stay blessed, stay happy, man. I'm going to let y'all I'm out. We have an update for you in the Young Thug Rico trial going on in Georgia. The rap star, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams, has agreed to change his plea to guilty. Now, this is all going on right now inside of an Atlanta courtroom. Williams pleaded guilty to gang, drug, and gun charges. This trial is the longest-running criminal trial in Georgia history. And with the deal, the trial actually comes to a close. Three of Young Thug's co-defendants took plea deals this week as well. The rapper was indicted in 2022 on charges related to allegedly leading the street gang called Young Slime Life, or YSL. The gang is accused of committing illegal and violent acts, including murder, carjacking, armed robbery, and drug dealing. It is a non-negotiated plea, which basically means the judge will ultimately decide the punishment.
Okay, so what kind of a sentence might he be facing here then? Yeah, so initially this started with about 27 co-defendants. A lot of those initial 27 co-defendants took plea deals. Some of them decided to have their own separate trials. But what we are seeing with the folks who did decide to take plea deals is their sentencing has been uh, ranging from 5 to 20 years. Some of them are getting time served. So it's likely that we'll see a sentence similar to that. But of course, ultimately, it's up to judge. Whitaker to decide uh, what his yeah. fate will be, Tom. This is so risky. Am I misinformed? This is the, he's looking at his attorney. Guys, a non-negotiated plea, you don't know what you're going to get. You, the judge could give you anything. That with, is scary. With a negotiated plea, you know what you're going to get. You've reached, the, you've reached the agreement with the prosecutor. With a non-negotiated plea, the judge can can give you anything. You're throwing yourself on the mercy of the court. I never would have expected this. Hold up. Let's see what she said. This is crazy. They're talking it over. Tell me when they're in private. Yes. Okay. All right. We can recess. Guys, listen, <laughs> this is insane. This is insane. They're asking for a recess. Let me make sure. We appreciate what everybody said. Any message to the rest of the defense attorneys still fighting for their clients in this case? Good luck. You know? <laughs> um, he's going to be participating in the community, doing events, things like that. Obviously, he has a huge reach for what he does for a living. Um, just your comments. I've that. known Jeffrey Williams. I've defended him for over a decade. I have been with him where we go to young children, children in need, children who are going down the wrong way. And he tells exactly what he's going to continue to say. He tells everybody, this is not a good life. We have to stop the generational disaster that is plaguing the community. And although I, Right now, I'm successful, I'm a product, but every one of you can get out. And he always stresses education. Jeffrey Williams is a great person, a great role model, and he will do even better now, hopefully, if you allow him and his words to get out. As far as how Jeffrey's feeling now, he knows my feelings, which I'm not going to reveal for attorney-client privilege, but this is not the same as a not guilty verdict. That should have been ranked. But nobody here. Thug saying, man, that plea deal. I'm not finna plead to YSL no motherfucking game. And I got an LLC to show where I've been paying and hiring people. That's why Thug won't plead. They're asking young Thug, say, man, just say this is a gang and you can get out today. That nigga, y'all froze my money since that I've been using this money to fund gang activity. The feds want that money. Um, Mr. Steele, Mr. Adams, Mr. Williams, where are we? Ready to go forward? All right. Y'all coming up here to the podium. All right, Sergeant, can you swear in Mr. Williams? Raise your right hand if you swear for him, test on you, and tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Jeffrey Williams, J E F F E R Y W I L L I A M S. And Mr. Williams, were you aware of the state's previous offer that was turned down prior to your making this non negotiated plea? Yes. All right. And, Your Honor, at this time, the state is making a recommendation of 45 years with 25 to serve in custody, followed by 20 on probation, subject to the special requirements of 1615-4, the gang statute. I'm trying to live up to a street code. It's just like I live up to a human code. Like I'm not loyal to Gilly. I'm not loyal to you. I'm not loyal to Duke, Dora, Dolly, my girl. I'm not loyal to none. I'm loyal to life. I'm not going to tell on you because I don't supposed to tell. Not because you get the kid. Right. You're a roach. Right. Be a, a, who I just met tonight. The police pull up and they find your gun. I'm going to tell the police this. Your
just because you're a stranger and I don't know you, or you 70 years old, so it'll never come out that I ratted her. And nothing gonna make me tell. Right. And no matter who it is. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I live on I live on them tight code, bro. It got I live, I, I'm, I'm look, lawyer to life. You live I'm on lawyer. them Cleveland Avenue codes, yeah, man. Yeah, lawyer to life, bro. You know what I mean? It go all the way back to Cleveland Avenue. I tell all my niggas too, every I fuck, man, do not be lawyer to me. Be lawyer to life. Be mm. loyal to the earth. Be loyal to yourself. Be loyal to the code. Be loyal mm-hmm. to what you're supposed to be. It's a code. Like, right. I understand that you waive any and all defenses, including any mental health defenses, by entering a plea of guilty. Yes. Do you understand that if you went to trial, you would have the right to a tri- that if you continued at trial, rather, you would continue to have the right to a trial by jury the right to see, hear, and confront witnesses called to testify against you, and the right to testify or to remain silent and not incriminate yourself. Do you understand all of those things? Yes. Do you understand that by pleading guilty, you are giving up the following rights? The right to a trial by jury. Do you understand that? Yes. The right to remain silent and not incriminate yourself? Yes. The right to confront witnesses against you? Yes. The right to continued assistance of counsel hired by you or to court-appointed counsel if you cannot afford an attorney at the continued trial of your case? Yes. The right to the presumption of innocence? Yes. The right to testify on your own behalf and to present other evidence? Yes. The right to subpoena witnesses and compel the production of evidence? Yes. The right to have the charges against you proven beyond a reasonable doubt? Yes. The right to appeal if convicted of these charges after a trial. Do you understand? Has anyone forced, threatened, or promised you anything to get you to enter a guilty plea? No. Is it your decision to waive these rights and enter a guilty plea because you are, in fact, guilty? Yes. Well, Your Honor, may I interject? You may. Your Honor, on count one, which is the racketeering conspiracy count, Mr. Williams is tendering a plea under nolo contendere as to count 56, which is participation in a criminal street gang activity as being a leader or a supervisor or organizer. Mr. Williams is also tendering a plea to this honorable court as under nolo contendere, the balance of the count, so he is tendering a guilty plea. All right. So it is not... Um lost on the court that the state had they been able to come to agreement on certain special conditions was willing to entirely dismiss the RICO count was willing to entirely dismiss one of the gang counts and was willing to entirely dismiss this you know machine gun count Um, was willing to give a sentence that permitted Mr. Williams to walk out of the door today and therefore does not seem to be particularly worried that Mr. Williams, if on the streets, would be a danger to society. I'm taking that into consideration and crafting my sentence. And in permitting a NOLO plea to the RICO count in one of the two gang counts. I um, would not be permitting the NOLO to the one if you were not pleading guilty to at least one of them. Uh, and, but you are, and y'all admit a factual basis for the counts that you are pleading guilty to. I find there to be a factual basis for those counts and for the remaining counts um, with which you are charged. I am going to impose a sentence, and and I've I've taken a little bit of the suggested special conditions from the defense and a little bit of the special conditions suggested by the prosecution. Um, On count one, the court sentence is 20 years to serve five years, commuted to time served, the balance of 15 years to be probated, and a $25,000 fine. On count two, the sentence is five years to serve, commuted to time served. That's the minimum sentence that's permitted um, on that count. 
Um, it is required to be run consecutively. I'm gonna run it consecutive to count one, but I am going to um, backload. Oh, I'm sorry, that is not commuted. That is five years to serve, and it's gonna be run consecutively to count one, backloaded by which I mean after you serve your 15 years of probation, if you have been successful on that probation, and I sincerely hope that you are, then at the end of that 15 years, I will commute the entire rest of any service portion of your sentence to time served. So I'll, I'll get to the end of it and give you the total sentence, but um, I'm also gonna impose a $15,000 fine with regard to that count. Count 57, 20 years to serve five, commuted to time served, the balance of 15 years probated, concurrent with count one. Count 58, 10 years to serve five, commuted to time served, balance probated, concurrent with count one. 59, five years to serve, commuted to time served, concurrent with count one. 60, five years to serve, commuted to time served, concurrent with count one. Count 61, five years to serve, that is required to be also a consecutive sentence, so that's gonna be run consecutively to count 56 and backloaded. Count 62, 10 years to serve, also required to be served consecutively, that's gonna be consecutive to count 61 also backloaded. So essentially the total sentence is 40 years to serve the first five years in prison, but commuted to the time that you have already served, followed by 15 years on probation, followed then by the backloaded 20 years, which can be served in custody and will be served in custody if you are not successful on your probation. If you are successful in completing your 15 years probation, that will be commuted to time served. Um, For almost two years since we did our jury selection initiation on January 4th, 2023. Mr. Williams has been sitting in a jail since May 9th, 2022. This is two and a half years waiting for the conclusion of state's case and a verdict from the jury. And that's why he is tendering this plea. I'm telling the court this, and the court knows when you came out the first time, it's said very hard for Mr. Williams. I am not supportive of what we're doing right now. I'm not against it. But I told Mr. Williams, you okay with me saying this? Yes. I told Mr. Williams that I think we're winning the trial and we should go to verdict. But he told me, I can't wait another three months if there is any possibility I could go home because I have children that are hurting. I have things to do and he has some medical issues that he would like to tend to. He eats out of a bag, Your Honor. He eats processed food only. He gained 75 pounds during trial. He's lost it since but it is hard. You know, for me, it's only three more months. It's enjoyable, actually. I enjoy coming. It's not that enjoyable for Mr. William. He told me he wakes up. Can I say this? Yes. He wakes up every day, and it's another day in H-E blank blank. Your Honor. You are to remain on reporting status for the first half of your probation, active reporting for the first seven and a half years of your probation, and that is um, pursuant to OCGA 17-10-1, subsection 2, I'm sorry, A-2A. A. Um, and Mr. Steele and Mr. Adams, uh, in order to keep him on reporting status, there needs to be good cause shown. We all concede that good cause is shown here. Stipulate. $25,000 fine or both. Um, isn't it a $15,000 fine because wasn't it the version of the statute in effect at the time or was that the same for RICO? Was RICO 25? Yes, back? RICO okay. was 25. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Count 56 carries a minimum sentence of five years in prison, a maximum of 20 years in prison. 
consecutive to any other sentence with a fine of $10,000 to $15,000 or both. Count 57 carries a minimum to confinement in the Georgia Department of Corrections. No one can guarantee parole. Your Honor, may I allow Mr. Williams time to finish signing the indictment? Yeah. Mr. Williams, do you understand that this is a non-negotiated plea of guilty and that if since your plea, your guilty plea is a blind plea or a non-negotiated plea, the state is making a recommendation of sentencing to the court, notwithstanding the fact that this is a blind plea? You understand that, Mr. Williams? Okay. And Mr. Williams, were you aware of the state's previous offer that was turned down prior to your making this non-negotiated plea? Yes. Right. And Your Honor, at this time, the state is making a recommendation of 45 years with 25 to serve in custody, followed by 20 on probation, subject to the special requirements of 1615 for the gang statute. All right, and do you want to break down for me what your recommended sentence on each count is? Yes, Your Honor. The state is recommending on count one, five years to serve. Count 56, 20 years to serve consecutively to count one. Count 57, five years of probation to serve consecutively to count six, 56. Count 58, 10 years of probation to serve concurrently with count 57. Count 59, five years of probation. Um, I mean, I know you didn't reach agreement, but y'all, that's what the last offer had been with, of course, a bunch of special conditions, which I guess is where the hang up is, I don't know. Right, defendant okay. did not want to agree to okay. the special conditions. All right, is that basically your understanding too, Mr. Steele? Yes, Your Steele Honor, it would have been, Adams. yes, Your Honor, Mr. Williams uh, would have been released today for 15 years on probation if he successfully completes that probation, then he would not have to go to custody. If he did not, he'd face probation revocation as well as 23 years, as the um, court said, backloaded in the Georgia prison system, but okay. we could not come to terms on all the conditions that the district attorney was insisting upon. Okay, all right, thank you. Go ahead, Ms. Love. Okay. And Mr. Williams, were you aware of that previous offer as well as all of the requirements that that offer would have entailed? Yes. Okay. And had you had enough time to discuss that particular offer with your attorney? Yes. All right. The previous? The previous yes. offer. Yes. Do you understand that the court can impose any sentence authorized by law, including a higher sentence than that recommended by the state, up to the maximum sentence on each charge in this indictment? Do you understand that, Mr. Williams? Yes. Do you understand that if you enter into a non-negotiated plea, you do not have a right to withdraw your plea once the sentence has been announced. Yes. Do you understand that this is a guilty plea which is permanently recorded on your criminal history? Yes. 
do you understand that this plea may be used to enhance sentencing on other convictions in this jurisdiction as well as in other jurisdictions, including in the federal courts? Yes. Do you understand that if you are currently on probation or parole, your probation or parole may be revoked based on your entering a guilty plea today? None of those. Okay. So yeah, you're not if, on if probation. If you were on probation, yes, yes, yes. but if you're not, then it doesn't matter. Okay. Do you understand that if you are placed on probation of any kind by this court, you cannot violate any criminal laws of any governmental unit or any special conditions of probations without being subject to revocation for the balance of the sentence the court imposes? Yes, I know. Do you understand that you are not allowed to possess negative to count 61 also backloaded? So essentially, the total sentence is 40 years to serve the first five years in prison, but commuted to the time that you have already served, followed by 15 years on probation, followed then by the backloaded 20 years, which can be served in custody and will be served in custody if you are not successful on your probation. If you are successful in completing your 15 years probation, that will be commuted to time served. Um, uh, free shows, and I always did that. You know, I, I did free shows and gave it to single parents, millions of dollars. You know, I made $1.8 million on, on a free show and I gave it all to single parent charity and I did like two or three shows that made like 700,000 a piece and I gave it to uh, the breast cancer organization like you know I, I, I do things but I put millions of dollars back into my community for real I really did I did more than anybody ever did from my side you know but I understand you know rap lyrics I understand how it could be twisted I understand what it could do to the mind of people I understand all that and I'm, I promise you, I'm 100% changing that, you know, it's just, I'm older, I'm grown now, you know, and it's just like, I'm smarter, I, it's more things to rap about, like, I, I've experienced a lot of good things, I experienced more bad things, but I experienced a lot of good things too, and, anyway, I can, I can go forever, do with you, but it could end bad, and it could, you know, fall on you, and I know <clears throat> the choice is yours, is up to you, and I hope that you allow me to go home today and and just trust in me to just do the right thing and never see you again unless it's unless it's at a you know bar in the future or something just out of this type of situation i promise you i won't ever be in this type of situation again i'm i'm going away i've learned from my mistakes you know i come from nothing and i've made something and i didn't take full advantage of it i'm sorry uh through these last two and a half years of my life, you are really, truly, honestly, the best thing that has happened to me because you made, made everything fair for me and everybody involved on both sides, you know. Um, I'm sorry to the share, you know, everybody for just having to put extra time in. I know y'all got paid more money, but I'm sorry for y'all having to put this extra time in to be away from y'all family, you know, and I just hope that you find it in your heart to allow me to go home and be with my family and just do do better as a person. I know what I bring to the table. I know what I am. I know the heights I've reached. I know the impact I got on people, period, in the community, you know, all people. I learned that late. Like past these past two or three years of my life, I kind of learned that late, and maybe it was because I was, you know, probably on drugs or anything. I don't know, but I have came to my senses. And I understand what I mean to this world, but I am a good guy, you know. I I, I don't mind doing stuff like you know like. Uh, Thing that you want to say. Um. Yes, ma'am. Um. I take full responsibility for, you know my crimes or my charges. Uh, I want to say sorry to my family, my mom. My mom got 11 kids. I can't say all their names, you know. My managers, 
my kids that's not here. Uh, really, everybody that got something to do with this situation, I want to say sorry for just like, you know, being, having so much time investing into this, you know. And, um, I am a, a, a smart guy, I am a good guy, and I really got a good heart, you know. I, I find myself in a lot of stuff because, because I was just nice or cool, you know, and I understand that you can't be that way when you reach a certain height because it could end bad and then and it don't really have to I take full responsibility for you know my crimes or my charges uh I want to say sorry to my family my mom my mom got 11 kids I can't say all their names you know my managers my kids is not here uh Really, everybody that got something to do with this situation, I want to say sorry for just like, you know, being, having so much time investing into this, you know, and um, I am a, a, a smart guy, I am a good guy, and I really got a good heart, you know. I, I find myself in a lot of stuff because, because I was just nice or cool, you know, and I understand that you can't be that way when you reach a certain height because it could and bad, and it, and it don't really have to have nothing to do with you, but it can end bad, and it could, you know, fall on you. And I know <clears throat> the choice is yours, it's up to you. Um, Mr. Steele, Mr. Adams, Mr. Williams, where are we? Ready to go forward? All right. Y'all coming up here to the podium. Sergeant, can you swear in Mr. Williams? Raise your right hand if you swear for him, testimony, you're going to tell you the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. I'm not sure that first and last. You might have to tell first and last. Jeffrey Williams, come. Turn around. Jeffrey Williams, J E F F E R Y W I L L I A M S. I would have been released today for 15 years on probation if he successfully completes that probation then he would not have to go to custody. If he did not, he'd face probation revocation as well as 23 years, as the um, court said, backloaded in the Georgia prison system. But okay. we could not come to terms on all the conditions that the district attorney was insisting upon. Okay.